I actually synced that really well. Ah, welcome back to Pop Tales, the show where we take classic and made up drinks and we make them fun and delicious. I'm your host Jacob and we're brought to you by TJ Spencer. As usual, it's somewhere here. You can go and follow the social media at TJ Spencer. And uh, the bar is now reopened and we have a cocktail list so you can come down and actually make me do this in person and give me money. Today, we're going to make a mojito. Daddy's back. Jared, where's my mint? I found it. Minted. You're going to start off by taking... That's a, this is quite chunky mint, so I'm going to go with, say, three leaves. Chunky enough that you can uh, still see them in the glass, but not so chunky that they take up the whole glass. Slap it like it's been misbehaving. Jared, stop chuckling. Usually you do the one 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 rule. But that's boring, so what I'm going to do is shout out to Jared to grab my jigger. So I forgot it. Thank you. You get to keep your job this week. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is because we want this to be boozy because we're alcoholics. Two shots of white rum. I'm using Bacardi. It's what I had on hand. Um, you can use, if you do, if you're a purist and you want to use a fresh lime. Uh, you can, but you'll get 60 ml, well, you'll get 30 ml of juice out of a first lime anyway, so I'm going to use bottled. This is what I have. Cool shot. And you can also use sugar syrup for this, but because I'm muddling, I'm going to use a bar spoon, or a half bar spoon, because this is a chunky bar spoon, of granulated sugar. Yeah, touch one. Granulated, I'm using granulated sugar because the coarseness will rough up the mint a lot more and you'll get more of the minty flavour We've muddled one or two things before, it's beating the shit out of your drink. I think I muddled the blueberries for Bacta. If you want to go watch Bacta, it's up here. <laughs> and you're looking to sort of half fill the uh, top half of the bottom here. Yeah? Is anyone confused why I keep referring to that as the bottom half and that as the top half when I go that way? This is something whilst re-watching my own episodes because I have an ego. It's because I hold it up right now when I shake it. Therefore, it's the bottom half of the Boston shaker, not the top half. That's it. There you go. That is the only explanation you require. You just shake it for long enough for the ice to start to break up because you're not actually going to strain this one. Which, in fairness, in a chunky Boston shaker doesn't work as well. I do have a glass for this. Now, there will be an argument that could be made that that has to be a tall glass. I don't think it does need to be a tall glass. I've had the argument with Jared. Um, you can also use one of these. It's a hurricane glass, so it's fine. I've got a fair amount here. I assume it's all gonna fit into this. Give it a little stir. Mix it all up. Take the tip of your regular Top sprig them in and just sit it on top. Mojito. So that is a mojito. It'll be rummy, it'll be citrusy, it'll be refreshing and minty. Yeah, it's delicious. It's actually perfect for today because it's like 40 degrees in this bar. And it's uh, delicious. Okay. Do you want to you taste some? So that's it. That's a that's a mojito. Uh, go home, make some yourself. We we I mean, as Australians, we're heading into summer, so that's your that's your new favorite drink, your best friend. And uh, as always, guys, keep it real and uh, drink safe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Real Talk Rice. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Review by Lurch. Flip that. Oh no, that was correct the first time. Twitter Review by Lurch, Instagram Real Talk Rice. You can follow us everywhere else at Real Talk underscore Pop Culture Discussions. Keep it real and drink safe. Bye-bye.